What's happening guys, it's Dan from General Tech HQ here and today I will be showing you my top three photo editing slash photography apps for the iPhone 5. So the apps I'll be showing you today aren't actually in any particular order, but today I'm going to start off with an app called Color Splash. Now what Color Splash enables you to do is add colour and take away colour. Uh, I'll just do a quick demonstration to show you. So if we wanted to load a photo, say from our camera roll, we can pick any photo from the camera roll, and automatically it will make it go black and white or grey. Um, and the main point of this app is to get individual colours that we want, and it has a really nice effect. So for example, if we wanted this main part of the flower to be a certain colour, we can literally just use our finger to draw over it. And if we want to do this part as well. And it's really clever technology because it kind of understands what colour we want uh, on the photo and what the main colour is that we're trying to get. So if we do go a bit out of the lines, it will correct it. So if we zoom out, you can kind of see uh, what kind of effect that can have. It's not done very well by me at all. Uh, but say if we did make a mistake, just in that corner over there, we can go back to grey and just rub that out. Inside this app, you can also uh, control the brightness, contrast, colour temperature, etc. And you can have uh, this kind of highlighting thing on to see where you've actually gone over on the picture. It's a really, really simple app but it has a really nice effect at the end and I've made some really, really great photos with this. So that's my first app called Color Splash. The second app I'm going to show you is called Diptych and uh, this is a really highly rated one uh, in the App Store. And what you can basically do is make a collage, a photo collage um, using Diptych and there are so many different layouts. So the classic ones of course are like quarters, uh, halves, everything kind of simple, then where it goes, you know, better is in the jumbo ones, the fancy ones, you know, with these curves, waves, and fresh, whatever that means. And there's also even a diptych store uh, where you can buy more things like letters and numbers. It really is great, but there are there's such a, a wide selection on here. So if we just go to the classic one, and we go to that, and what you can do is, is you can just click here, and if I wanted to go there, and say if I'm making a quick collage of my time in Paris, then we'll press on one of these pictures, and it will add it there. But the great thing about this is we can actually internally edit these photos, which I find uh, to be the most impressive part. So we can change the contrast of that individual photo, not the whole thing. Uh, you can change the size of the frames, like so. The aspects, the borders, and the textures as well, which is really, really great. This app has so many features, it's unbelievable. And you can kind of see what it does. Um, there are so many free uh, versions of this on the App Store, but none of them will live up to Diptych. It really is a brilliant app to have. So, ending our top three photo apps is probably my favourite out there and the one that I will use the most and that is Apple's stock photo editor called iPhoto. If you haven't heard of it, I don't know where you've been, but it really is a brilliant app, especially on the iPad and the iMac. but bringing it to the iPhone it just has a whole new level and it's great to have a brilliant mobile editor with you. So straight away you are entered into the application and you can choose of course any pictures from your library. But again, let's go with this flower one. So first of all, we have some auto-enhancing uh, effects here, which uh, we can use. But what you really want to do is go to this toolbox. And uh, you've got your simple crop here. Everyone knows about that. Uh, what I really like about this app is you can change, for example, if we had a sky background here, you can change the color of the sky using this. The technology in the uh, app actually kind of finds out where the sky is. Here you can see uh, all the greenery that we have in this photo, I can enhance using this. You can see as I toggle that to the right, 
those leaves are getting greener. And the same with kind of wood and fire. In this way you can see the blinds in the background there are just getting a bit more saturated in a way. Also, probably the most impressive thing about this app are these uh, really great tools here. And it's just really lovely graphics by Apple. And so, you know, if we wanted to soften a certain part, say a bit of a leaf, you can do that. And just to show you how it works, we will put the strokes on. And you do that, kind of almost colouring that in. And then take the strokes off, set it to high. And you can see there that leaf is a bit softened. One of the main things that people will use is probably uh, this section here. This gives you borders and uh, things like this where you can put borders on your photos and effects. Really simple to use using your fingers. You know, if we wanted to blur out that and just have that, you can use your finger for this. There's also an option to colour stuff like this. And of course black and white and loads of other features like that. So they were my top three photography slash photo editing apps. Color Splash, Diptych and iPhoto. In my opinion all must haves for the iPhone user who likes to take photos. I hope you have enjoyed that video. Remember to subscribe for lots more iPhone, iPad and tutorials.